Hello everyone, this is Dr. Anusha Rani. Today I am back with a small technical video on cleaning of HPLC column. I am going to show you how to clean a HPLC column by the reverse flush method. So caring for the HPLC column might be simple but it is exceptionally important to the health, lifetime and productivity of our column. Column's health can greatly affect the analysis as well. So the following video is uh, mainly focusing on how to clean the HPLC column through reverse flushing. It might be time uh, to flush the column when you are seeing high back pressure, low efficiency or high split peaks along with the most common issue which is particulate buildup at the head of the column. Reverse flushing your column can be done by the following simple uh, steps which I am going to show you. So for this I am using HPLC grade water heated to around 60 to 70 degrees centigrade over a mantle. So here is the bottle of uh, HPLC grade water then um, HPLC grade uh, isopropanol and then uh, HPLC grade methanol and HPLC grade H2 nitrile. These are the solutions I am using or solvents that I am using for cleaning the HPLC column. So first of all I would be opening the settings of the software and then uh, uh, set the mobile phase ratio to 50 is to 50 that is uh, which is being shown here on the screen. So both the reservoirs that is A and B will be filled with uh, warm water and then I'll be just uh, uh, opening the purge valve so that uh, purging starts. So as soon as I open the purge valve you can see a decrease in the pressure, a very less pressure you can observe here and the flow rate is around 2 ml per minute. So here I have kept both the filters of the two reservoirs into a single beaker containing HPLC grade water. So the objective of this uh, Purging is simply to flush through all the lines so that any remaining solvent in them from a previous analysis or wash is replaced with the new mobile phase. So here you can see that the solvent moves from the reservoirs into the degasser, from the degasser into the pump and from the pump into the outlet. So here are the wide variety of solvents that can be used for flushing the column. So here it starts from the weak solvents that is water, methanol, etc. And as you move forward you can see the stronger solvents like propanol and hexane. You can see I am now just closing the purge valve. Now the solvents move into the column and washing of the column starts. So you can start the flushing of the column with a combination of weaker solvents and if it is insufficient then you can move on with the combinations of stronger solvents for washing purpose. So we can uh, continue washing with uh, each set of uh, combination of solvents and if it is insufficient we can uh, switch on to a new combination of uh, stronger solvents and continue purging and washing uh, with slight increments in the flow rate. So now I am uh, switching on to the next set of solvents like methanol and water ran for some time and then again closing the purge valve so that it goes into the column. So you can see I have changed the mobile phase ratio to 30% methanol and 70% water and uh, now I would take out the column and reinstall it in the opposite direction and once the column is flipped and reinstalled on one end you we can uh, uh, run the system with different sets of uh, cleaning solvents as you can see and in this process any particulates that are present in the column will be flushed out and caught by the beaker and not into the detector and this procedure must be continued for about 15 to 20 minutes. So here you can repeat the washing with 100% uh, HPLC grade water and then 100% uh, uh, HPLC grade methanol uh, with slight increments in the flow rates. You can continue each process for about 15 to 20 minutes and then now I have uh, switched on to the new combination of the uh, mobile phase that is uh, uh, methanol and uh, isopropyl alcohol. 
so i have just kept purging for uh, with this solvent you can see the flushing of uh, the air bubbles outside into the drain so you can see the drain pipe through which the air bubbles the unwanted uh, solvents etc all flush out this is the drain pipe so as we see that uh, as i increased the strength of the solvent combination better cleaning of the pipelines as well as better cleaning of the columns take place so i repeat this uh cleaning uh, purging and washing with uh, slight increments in the flow rate so you can see the cleaning solvents moving through the uh, pipeline from the pump through the injection port into the column and getting drained out with this the column will be completely cleaned of all the unwanted particulate matter so once it is done i will be reversing the column again and then um, for the correct flow path i'll install the column and then run the solvent mixture with which i want to do the sample analysis then next again i will be checking for uh, confirmation of the efficiency and also check that the pressure is back to the normal conditions so dear friends this is how we have to clean uh the hplc column with the reverse flush method if you have any doubts you can post it in the comment box then i'll be soon back with another technical video thank you and take care